This is a remarkable place, I think. It's in the Lake District. It isn't a picture that you particularly associate with the Lake District, uh, which I suppose will be one of wonderful bucolic English landscapes. This is a post-industrial scene. Uh, it's an old quarry, and uh, the it, it's. I'd love to know when it was abandoned. Uh, I would imagine 50 or 60 years ago, perhaps, perhaps more, perhaps less, but uh, in the meantime, uh, the natural world has started to reintegrate it uh, into the landscape and a pond has developed uh, in the shallows uh, well where the the rock was being hollowed out um, which obviously gives it a slightly picturesque or pictorial quality yes. uh, but it's really the rock wall which uh, is is the kind of initial excitement and justification for taking a picture some fabulous colors and the mineral staining on the on the slate rock walls, I think. I think it is slate, and I think that it's probably a combination of minerals and uh, and lichens and um, and other bacteria um, and so on. But even so, it isn't just plain old grey. You've got green greys and blue greys and red greys, and uh, and then some of these other more exotic uh, and saturated colours coming in as well. If we zoom into 100%. And start on the left and, and just work away. I mean, it's it's kind of almost like a Bridget Riley painting. And you're, oh, it's like a sort of uh, wonderful or oh, bizarre um, uh, series of abstractions. Almost, um, uh, if you spin it or run it, it, it becomes quite uh, quite hard for the brain to take in. Uh, but it's a remarkable amount of detail. Uh, there are still bits of rock falling away where it's uh, it's got a rawer feel about it. And of course, it's being constantly interrupted by the uh, by the trees which are in front of this is a larch, uh, the one uh, pine tree that that uh, changes colour um, in the autumn. And uh, further over on the right, we have birches and ash, I think. Um, and it's very blue uh, the rock in here, whereas it was red on the left. So a real variety uh, of colour, and it. It's almost kaleidoscopic quality, but then at the top uh, of the of the quarry itself is this wonderful woodland, uh, which has been in Borodale presumably since the last ice age in one form or another. Mm. Beautiful autumnal colours. It's it's really just about the height of autumn, I, I think, uh, right at the end of October, the beginning of November. I think that's the magical time to be in the Lake District. It's noticeable that here even there's uh, where there's a little notch, a tree has migrated into this niche. And to me it speaks so uh, so clearly of the fertility and abundance and uh, an opportunism of nature that it, it will simply take over, um, reintegrate itself uh, as it does in, uh, in decaying towns and cities and ruins and so on. And eventually um, will take... Uh, take everything back to itself and I think that as a, as a nature lover um, I find that uh, both awesome and inspiring and sometimes it can be re even really quite amusing uh, but here it's just the uh, well I think when we were discussing this earlier we were talking about theatre yes yeah it, it looks like a form of natural amphithe amphitheatre and even down to the the natural angles leaning in from either side like a fret, like stage ends yes and you can imagine some sort of Wagnerian opera performance taking place in the middle of it. Yeah, I like I like that thought. Or a rock concert, dare I say. It's a, terrible, isn't it? But it would be rather good actually with a, a small rock band playing inside. I, c I can, you know, a little bit of light twilight would be very magical. Um, I've I've often thought that actually about landscape that that it, it would lend itself to, to music and uh, to music playing. You can imagine, in fact, even a single uh, singer. Or violinist or flautist standing in that area, or surrounded by rock, projecting the sound out towards mm. you would be quite, quite magical. Uh, I think that I'm conscious of the fact that as a as a picture, it's not everybody's cup of tea, uh, and uh, it, it's a bit of a um, an acquired taste, perhaps. But its richness is is one of the things that appeals to me, and I feel that it's one of those that that you you would get reward from coming back to and seeing time and again um, and the, the the complexity of it makes it difficult to take all in if we I think trying uh, to uh, trying to read the picture all in one go can, it could be quite difficult but it's 
it, it's a picture of pictures within pictures all the way through. You can sample small sections of it um, and and get a different feeling from each section. Mm. So all, all pictures needn't be read the same, I don't think. No, I agree. Uh, looking at it small is often a way of uh, of understanding it, whether it has initial impact or not. And here you can see, I think, that the, the, the colour values have a have an early appeal, but uh, there are difficulties just understanding what's going on. And it's really as it gets larger that uh, we can really come to terms uh, with the detail. And as, as you say, it is uh, the many, many pictures um, and small visual relationships within it uh, that I think uh, make it really exciting. Uh, there's a, an unusual um, yellow stain here uh, which is reflected in the water and that forms one important uh, focal point. Uh, the yellows against the blue rock are important as is this rather strong birch and uh, this is a little cameo that I pointed out earlier and just I think the way that the trees sit on top of the quarry with this pelt of moss uh, working its way over over the edge um, it's, to me very appealing it's got a, a, a wonderfully wild and woolly quality a, a, about about it this landscape those those three white trees in the middle of the three, three white birches are very much a focal point as well that that column yes. of um, picture like you said the cameo of the stripes and the Yes, everything being held in. That's right. And as you were saying earlier, if you look at, at the way that the uh, the, uh, the lines fall, as it were, from the left and from the right, uh, it does help to sort of draw it to a, a centre, even though this is very much a, a panoramic image. 